several times the home state lab, and I'm wondering when you get to Washington, what you're going to do specifically to promote our home state lab. Good question. I think it's a very important project. Actually, I was with the governor last night at an event in, uh, in the central part of the state, and he was talking about some of the exciting things that are going on in home state right now. He was talking about the, the way that the process is developing, in particular, some of the things they're doing with school children. And, and I suppose high school kids, uh, you know, they're called school children when they're in high school. But they're, they're, um, they're actually doing this exchange program where they take kids to, to home stake and then they, then they take them to California and they take them to Pennsylvania to see some of these other labs. And they get to interact with some of the finest scientists in the country. You know, I think that the issue with home stake is to, is to recognize, as we did um, with the space program in, in, in the 60s, what a national priority it has to be. We, we in America have allowed, um, since the 60s, we've actually, and, and it's actually sit, sitting right here today at the, at the School of Mines in, in the seat of a lot of uh, South Dakota's um, scientific intellect and, and research. And we've let that drift away since the 60s when everybody, when so many people were activated and inspired to become scientists, to study science, to work at the, at the, uh, at the subject matter. And they wanted to be part of the space program or they wanted to go to the moon or whatever, they, whatever it was that inspired them. They ended up in science careers and they're reaching the retirement age now. So we're about to go into a brain drain as we have fewer and fewer people available working in scientific uh, disciplines and scientific careers. We need to replace all those people, all those research scientists, all those engineers, all those, those people who, who are part of putting America at the head of technology in the world. We need to find a way to activate young people to make them more interested in, in pursuing a career in science and in research in particular. And I think that the, the Homestake Lab is a unique opportunity to do that. We can build an entire uh, curriculum a national curriculum around that, opportunities that would, where kids from all over the country would flow through there and see the things that are going on below and, and be, be energized by the kind of work that's being done right here in South Dakota and the kind of scientific breakthroughs that I believe can be a part of, of, of the Home State Lab's uh, legacy. So I think what, what we do, how we do that specifically is we, we, we push and we push and we never stop pushing but we do it with a, as an education process by, by making it part of everybody's district, by making it important to every senator's state, by, by explaining to them not only how the benefits are going to come to them, but actually getting people from their home territories and home states involved in programs at home state. I think we've got a, we're on the right track. We've done a good job over the last few years in getting to the point that we are, and, um, and we need to push for the final, the, the final NSF funding and, the, and all the work that's going on, but that's just the beginning. It's, it's basic research, it's lots of universities, it's lots of people coming to South Dakota to participate in those, in those experiments, and it's building bigger than, 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 the old, than the home state lab itself into all the spin-off businesses and, and projects that will benefit the School of Mines, that will benefit the Black Hills, that will benefit all of um, all of our educational institutions around this area that could make um, Rapid City and the Black Hills area a, 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 essentially a scientific uh, mecca for, for people all over the world and all over, uh, all over the United States to come here. And I think that, once we reach that place where everybody recognizes how important this is and how important the mind is and the lab to, to America and to, science, to American leadership in technology, then, then funding will flow because everybody